Hi guys, first of all, a happy new year. This is the first video of 2021, and it comes as the direct result of a request, believe it or not, which means that yes, A, not only are people watching my videos, but also they're taking the time to comment and engage. So first of all, I'd like to thank you, Rob Taylor, for coming up with the idea for this video. Uh, Rob wrote and requested, I would like to see a video on the five top tips for those wishing to start as a commentator. Well, the good news for Rob and those who are also in the same position as him is that it's as simple as starting today. There are a whole host of opportunities and platforms that you can use in order to begin broadcasting seemingly from one moment to the next are the wonders and delights of modern technology. I'll start by paying tribute, paying homage to the wonderful YouTube and its delightful algorithm. But of course, there's Twitter, there's Twitch. These days you get football clubs actually uh, having people in vision commentating on a match. Barcelona springs to mind. There's a guy there in the studio uh, where he's commentating on the match. It's a radio style commentary uh, for those wishing to uh, watch on social media or YouTube. Maybe even they've got the game uh, on in the background on the television screen or on their phone uh, and they also like to have this coverage going along with them. So there's nothing stopping you from doing likewise. So simply start. There is Lionel Messi driving forward. Messi with Jordi Alba. Alba back to Messi inside the, the box. Messi can goal. shoot the shot is blocked. I think yeah. maybe Alba had the advantage there and he gave it back to Messi too quick. The second piece of advice I'd give you is to practice, to practice as much as possible. There are so many opportunities now to practice, again, thanks to the proliferation of football matches, games have been played everywhere you look. So even if you don't necessarily have the right subscription to the specific channel that that match is being played on, simply go on YouTube or whichever social media platform you wish, or even the club website, find the highlights that have already been cut and prepared there, choose a suitable length, uh, and just begin recording. Turn on the mic uh, and start to get used to your own voice. Dare I say it, you need to even learn to love your own voice. You need to become familiar with what you sound like. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, I used too many words there. Oh, I mispronounced there. I stumbled slightly over my words. I stuttered here. So those are all things that you need to really try uh, and ascertain. You need to start by being very constructive in criticism of yourself and then gradually you can begin to uh, hone uh, forge your own style, develop this identity that you'll have as a commentator. But that only comes from listening to a lot of professional commentators, but also practicing, practicing, and practicing uh, some more. So make sure that you just simply mute the sound on the highlights. Maybe even give yourself a helping hand if there is scope for an intro. Why not script the intro beforehand just to give yourself a bit of momentum? And then after that, I would suggest, and it sounds very obvious, but you'd be amazed at how many people don't do it, write down the names and numbers of the players, perhaps uh, even in uh, formation order, so you have that as a visual cue in front of you. Even if they're teams and players that you're very familiar with, it uh, occasionally helps just to be able to have a glance down and look at that. And in fact, as and when you become a professional commentator, uh, frequently you might be asked to do uh, what we call spoof commentary or ghost commentary, where you will be asked to put your voice to some highlights or to a match which has already been played, uh, and the ideal thing to do there is to do it in one take so everyone's happy. Uh, not necessarily always possible, but you give yourself a very good opportunity of doing that if you are reactive, if you are able to identify the players, and above all, if you've prepared some information and you know the players beforehand. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is to emulate, don't imitate. There is a slight nuanced difference between those two verbs. By emulate, I mean follow in someone's footsteps. Try and really have the same sort of success as someone that you look up to. Aspire to achieve similar things to what a specific commentator did, be it working on a specific tournament, be it uh, working for a specific broadcaster, or simply having the respect and praise of your peers. When I say don't imitate, what I mean by that is not to simply mimic or copy someone else's commentary, be it in the tone of their voice, be it in uh, the way they express themselves. Maybe the California Classico is again a Classico! Maybe specific turns of phrase which have become synonymous with them. One that springs to mind is uh, Clive Tilsley often says, he brought it under his spell uh, to control the ball. That's not something I necessarily use because uh, it doesn't really feel natural to me. So try and become aware of what it is you like about certain commentators. Try and pinch and borrow certain 
uh, facets and aspects of the way they broadcast and then maybe try and develop your own style, bring in some own uh, unique features of your voice, of your style, uh, of your background and maybe amalgamate all that together. But ultimately, this won't come about until you've got hours and hours of practice on the mic, you've got hours and hours uh, on the mic as well in a professional setting where there is crucially the feedback not only of your peers, uh, but crucially as well, above all, of the viewer themselves. Finally, tip number five is to analyse commentators. This is something I touched on a little bit earlier, but listen to as much commentary as possible from uh, as many different people as possible and really have a think about what it is they're saying, how they're saying it, the timing, letting the game breathe, uh, less is more, not saying too much. If we're watching a, a television match, is it a case of the players are very well known so the commentator just needs to say the names, name, 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 and then use that voice to convey uh, the energy of what it is they want to do or the emotions of the match itself. If the players are so well known and if a team is hogging possession in the way that Manchester City do, for instance, if they're playing it three times or four times across the back four, what's the commentator doing there? Is he not speaking at all? Is he saying every third name? Is he talking about an anecdote or giving a bit more colour uh, background information to the broadcast? So have a think about all of that. Start to analyse things as a professional. Stylistically, what are they doing? What's the word choice? How do they use synonyms? Ah, he said shot there, so maybe he says effort in the next line. First half, second period, after the break, before the interval. Try and even come up potentially with a glossary of terms that you might do. It needs to be a conscious effort. You really need to think about what it is you're doing, how you're doing it. Uh, and another tip I would come up with, uh, just extending this idea uh, before I finish, is to transcribe commentary. Yes, listen to some commentary and then actually make a conscious effort of writing down what is being said and that will really help to lodge those ideas in your brain that will really allow you to have a critical eye and ear as uh, to what you're seeing and to what is being said, if it's a TV commentary, if it's a radio commentary, then it's literally give me as much information as possible, albeit in a clear way. Manchester City are still alive here. Balotelli, Aguero! Anyway, there are some ideas for you, Rob, and others as to five tips when starting out as a commentator. Not necessarily five tips to break into the industry. Uh, I took my own interpretation of what it was you requested. This is a slight mix, if you will, of uh, five ideas in terms of de developing your own style, in terms of uh, discovering who you are as a commentator, what it is you like, who you like, uh, and where you can improve and ultimately what you can become as a broadcaster. I hope that's of some benefit to you. Uh, I can only talk based on my own experience, which is still uh, relatively small uh, compared with some other colleagues, but I hope there's some value in there for those of you interested in football commentary in particular. I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my content and make sure you comment. Uh, and of course, give this video a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Cheers, guys. See you on the next one.